Well, hello there, Taurus. This is Cindy from the New Moon Tarot, and this is a general love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Taurus for the week of April 24th. If this one doesn't resonate so much, go ahead and check out your natal chart and my other readings, specifically your moon, which is emotions, and Venus, which is how you show up in relationships. You might want to do that anyway, since there could be messages there for you. We are looking at the overall energy. I'm also going to pull cards for your person and clarify everything in real time. Yes, that means shuffling. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss out. If you want the extended, go ahead and click the join button down below. It's $10. You get access to all of the extendeds for every sign for an entire month. And if you would like your own private reading, you can find all of my info down below in the description box. My least expensive is $20. Uh, I'm also running a three questions for $30. Okay, so we have your energy here straight away. Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, uh, usually a Taurus card. This is you like knowing your worth and knowing your value, um, stable, grounded, centered. And we've also got some Virgo energy here with the Hermit. Uh, you may be in separation from your person. The two of you may be taking some time apart. It looks like someone is holding back here with the Four of Pentacles. That's like, I don't want to open up. I don't want to be vulnerable. I don't want to, you know, share my time or my energy or my effort with you. We've got the Four of Cups, which is missing out on an opportunity. I'm not in alignment. I don't know what I want. Um, this person may have like been standoffish. They may have like pushed you away or pushed this connection away. Um, maybe you had to push them away here. All right, let's take a look at this person a little bit closer. Okay, so far we've got the Seven of Wands. This is someone who's feeling kind of standoffish, uh, kind of guarded. I'm going to use the Tarot of Mystical Moments to clarify here. Uh, at the end, I will pull cards for how this person feels about you as well as something that they're thinking or that they need to say. Okay, so they're feeling kind of guarded here. Hmm. We've got the Queen of Cups in reverse, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. So this person could be a water sign. They could have some water in their chart here. Um, they're probably fighting their emotions as well. Queen of Cups in reverse doesn't deal well with emotion. Hmm. Five of Pentacles. That's missing you or feeling kind of lost without you. I'm upset. I'm alone. Um, I think this person is struggling quite a bit. King of Swords. King of Swords is Aquarius energy. It can also be Libra or Gemini. This may also be someone, again, who's trying to like cut off their emotions here. I feel like they've cut you off. They've tried to cut this connection off. And they've got regrets about it with the Five of Cups. That's maybe wishing they had done something different here. Um, they're kind of struggling with their emotions. Oops. Clearly, you are important to this person. There, that's a little easier to see. Clearly, this person has a lot of emotion for you. I think they want you. I think they feel like you are their wish fulfillment, but I also think they're really deathly afraid of their emotion for you. Uh, that 10 of cups, they could have even been married to you. It's emotional fulfillment in a relationship, a very strong connection. And they're up in their head, nine of swords. I can't sleep. I can't think. I'm very focused on you. I'm worried. I have all this anxiety. Emotional burdens, emotional baggage. Um, this person is kind of a mess. I think you're very important to them. I do think that this is probably a blip in your relationship. Um, I think they're probably coming to term with their emotions. Learning how to deal with it. See? Got the King of Cups in the upright. This seems to be all about emotion here. Um, this is someone coming to you like whole. They're dealing with it. Um, they want to talk with you. They want to be emotionally available. 
But I do think they're having like a dark night of the soul here. Maybe you are too. See, we've got the lovers, Gemini energy. There is a close, intense connection between the two of you. They feel it. You feel it. It isn't going away anytime soon. Um, and I think it's like they're coming to terms with it. So they pushed you away, but they really want to be with you. They really love you. Uh, I don't think that this is over. And if you're saying like you don't want this relationship back, then I doubt this is your reading. We have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Now, technically, this could be you. It's Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo energy, usually a Virgo card. In the reverse, it's a sense of like, I don't know, like I'm, I'm overwhelmed. I don't know what I want. I can't make a decision. I'm kind of all over the place. Yeah, Seven of Cups. I'm confused. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say here. I'm trying to get through this. I'm kind of a mess. I do think that this person is doing a lot of struggling. Um, I think they're worried. I think they're in love with you, and I don't think it's easy for them to accept. All right, let's do cards for how they feel about you, as well as something that they're thinking or that they need to say. How do they currently feel about you? What are the current feelings here? Four of Wands. They feel like you're their home. They feel very connected to you. That's wanting to take a relationship to the next level. It's stability. It's security. Maybe they never had that before. I do think it's throwing them for a loop. I'm feeling like you might need an oracle card here. This is an intense reading. I think you're sad. I think your person's sad. What is something that you need to know here? What is something that you need to know? Okay. We have loyal heart. Let's do one more. We have go the distance. 35, loyal heart, fidelity, loyalty, devotion. Evidence of loyalty will appear in your life. Others will prove they are faithful to you and you will turn, you will in turn commit fully to them. Your partnerships, friendships, and romantic relationships all have many qualities in common right now. Honest devotion, faithfulness, and a loyal heart are going to be shown to you. And are you as loyal in return? Now is the time for heartfelt commitments and trusting in divine protection. That's what I'm saying, that this relationship isn't over. I think that this is like a blip. It's a problem for right now, but it isn't always going to be that way. You aren't always going to be in this energy. Go the distance. Endurance, strength, the long haul. Relationship message. You're either in or calling in a harmonious relationship that can stand the test of time. For better or worse, as you ride the ups and downs and even strain, break yourself and are remade in new growth, you are being redeemed by the power of regeneration. Harmony does not mean that there will never be a wrong note played, but the relationship is marked by endurance and dedication to overall unity. Listen with your heart. Yeah, I think you're probably doubting this relationship. I think they're doubting it. I think they're struggling. I think you're struggling. But I do think the two of you are kind of meant to be together. I do think there's an intensity that this connection that you just can't deny. All right. 